So I'm the data science manager based up in MVB. We've got a team here. We've been here for just under a year now. Um, but <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about the partnership we've got going. Uh, Ian mentioned it slightly. Uh, but before I get into that, I thought it'd be good for you guys to hear a little bit about the company. We've been acquired by Allianz. We, in turn, bought LNG General Insurance. So we've become the largest personalized insurer in the country. We have a very large workforce, uh, and we are always striving to do one very important thing, to put the customer first. In order to do that, what we've done is we've developed a data science team, an in-house team, that works as a consultancy, putting models into production where they actually add business value. We have 10 currently live. We have a team of 24. We are growing, and we are growing at a rapid rate. We want to eventually have machine learning uh, decision touch points at every point in the company. So every time something happens, a customer rings up, machine learning is there to back up the, the, the choices made. So in order to ramp this up, we need to stop just performing. We need to transform the market that we're in, which is insurance. We also need to transform the data science market from our own perspective. We need to change the way that people come out from academia and as they feed into into uh, commercial areas. We have various challenges. We are in a very, very heavily populated market. There's a lot of eyes, especially when it comes to data scientists. They are very transient. So we need to keep them in the team. We need to keep bringing those skills up. Um, so that's why we're here. So we're partnering with the University of Bristol um, to try and both upskill our teams, to bring more knowledge into ourselves, as well as share our understanding of data science back into the community. Maybe a little bit fast. Um, so we have a challenge of actually, so we have a very large workforce. We need to reskill them. We need to upskill them. We need to make sure that they have the jobs. We're not trying to get rid of people. We want to give them those skills, but as well as bringing in new skills. There's tons of new stuff that we need to implement. We need to learn about. The team keeps learning, uh, but we're trying to also bring innovation in from new students. We have a team here in Bristol. Um, those are some of the guys there. You might have seen them floating around in MVB. Um, we are based in the building, so come and say hello. Uh, it's always nice to meet more students and more academics. We have various projects going on. We're working with uh, two CDTs currently. Uh, done a couple of undergrad and master's program, uh, 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 master's uh, projects. And we've got various research and um, student engagement streams going on. One of the big projects we have under started actually hasn't even started, but uh, it's a project we're working on is developing synthetic data. We have huge volumes of data, very private, very securely stored, not shareable to anybody. But in order for us to get the most value out of it, we need to really start to share it. So the question is, how do we move this really secure private data through this protected environment into the hands of the crowd? What we are attempting to do is develop a set of pipelines that can take that private data, synthesize it, keep the knowledge that's embedded in that data, and then share it with a crowd of uh, data scientists, machine learning people, computer scientists, send it out, and actually leverage the powers that is already out there. So we are in the process of doing that. Alongside that, as we develop more and more models, we have, uh, we have a responsibility to be ethical, we have a responsibility to be open and fair with all of our customers. Um, and we have work going on that is starting again here at the university, working with Susan Hofford to find mechanisms to communicate and make our models, our systems transparent to our customers, to make it so that the call handlers who don't have a degree in data science can actually communicate that information out freely, easily, um, um, without too much uh, jargon. We are here because eventually we hope that we will end up in Temple Quarter. Um, we're, we've got a contract. We've been developing the blueprint the, that uh, hopefully will be used when more commercial organizations come in and work alongside the university. So we want to leverage what is here, bring it into LV, but at the same time, give back. So hopefully we get this kind of cycle of both uh, our teams coming in and working with students and academics and academics coming in, working with us and students. We're doing student engagement in many different ways. We've got various different projects going on. We've got paid interns, too, actually have been hired for the summer. Um, we have direct recruitment. Again, uh, one of uh, your current students is coming in to join our team. So we're trying to leverage the student body and actually give back as much as we can. 
two innovation projects that are started off, um, one with the Smart Internet Labs on Connected Homes. We've got one with the CDT program, I think uh, the AI CDT program on the Smart Assistant. We have lots of work to do, and hopefully um, we'll get more and more coming through over the next few years. Thank you.